Our next guest is a nationally touring comedian, best known for his Netflix stand-up special, Happy Face, along with his TV appearances on shows like The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon and Conan. Yes, joining us now is comedian Ryan Hamilton, who's bringing his comedy to Wise Guys in Town Square this weekend. Welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. It's We're nice so to be with you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm excited to be here. Now, <laughs> as, a, as a comedian, you know, you, I, I'm really curious because there's so much, I think, that we go through in our lives, and it tends to, we kind of mimic that, right, in a lot of the stand-up that you do. Yeah. How much of your own life experiences are you talking about in your routines? Well, people ask me a lot, is that real? And I go, it's all real. It's, uh, it's too hard to make up, you know? I, yeah. I got hit by a bus a, two years ago now. Oh, wow. And, oh, I, 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 and uh, that was the first time where I really thought, this is something I have to talk about. It sounds funny when you say it. I mean, it's not, it's tragic, but... Well, you're sitting here. So yes, I'm, I'm right. okay, but you know, people, if someone says I got hit by a car, people go, oh, I'm so sorry. But if someone says I got hit by a bus, people go, oh, <clears throat> like, how did you not see it? You know, there's, it's, it is an inherently funny thing. So it was something that I had to take into my act. I mean, but, observations from comedians, like you mentioned, you know, taking, to, I mean, you can only speak to, from your own experiences. Yeah. And, and, but naturally, you know, your own personal experiences right. turn into something funny. But um, is it always that? Is it always personal experiences? Is it things you notice from other people? Are you a people person when you're like, that's curious and weird. I want to do something about that. With yeah. Skin. Yeah. I'm always observing things, you know, I don't know. I tried to get a haircut. I don't know how, <laughs> you know, it's the same story. Every time I wander in, they go, sit down. What are we doing? And I said, oh, I don't know how to talk to you. You know, it's I it, brought a photo. Sometimes it can be an uncomfortable experience. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I bring a photo and pull it out. I don't know how powerful you are, but if you could move it in this direction <laughs> even, I think I'd be. But it's that, I think everybody has that kind of experience, you know, and so it lodges in my head. And I go, let's talk about that and see if we can make it funny to a broad audience. Yeah, now because it's my experience. But yeah. yeah, you mentioned that it's been a couple years since you've been in Vegas. So what are you most exciting for? Um, I don't know. It seems like a lot's changed. The sphere is here now. Yeah, I might go, <laughs> be afraid. That's yeah, aliens. Yeah, yeah I can't. It's like a sci-fi thing. I might go stand in front of it and see what that's about. <laughs> um, uh, get some good food. Um, I don't know. Everything's fun in Vegas, right? Is there any place you can go that's not fun? Well, I mean, you know, there's no better place to hang out in the morning blend and see Mini Kiss running through the studio. Mini Kiss was nice. I was happy to see that. I've been, uh, been fans for a long, long time. <laughs> a long you follow time. them everywhere? Yeah. That's why you're in town that's the same time as they are. They're, today. They're, they're taller than I thought they would be. <laughs> they're bigger in real life. Yeah, they're okay. bigger in real life. You know, a lot of stars, they're shorter than you, you think. But Kiss, they're taller. So, so you, you're originally from Idaho. Uh, <laughs> we, it's something that you like to reference in, in, in your specials and, and the appearances I've seen from you before. Yeah. Uh, what, was, what was that experience like growing up? Did that obviously helped to shape you comedically, or did you learn your chops moving to New York? You know, where, where does the comedy come from? I don't know where it came from in Idaho. I wasn't exposed to it. It was just something that I wanted to do. I now live in New York, and, you know, the contrast is... is They're very similar. Is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, New Yorkers, the attitude in New York is what I really pick up on, more than the congestion and the building. It's the, the New Yorkers, you know, think they can do anything anywhere. You know, if I can make it here, I can make it anywhere. Frank Sinatra but said that. He, he said it in one song, <laughs> and, and then every it. New Yorker went, that's a fact. <laughs> but, it's, you know, I'm from a town of a thousand people in Idaho, and I don't think New Yorkers could make it there. That's a you fact. Know, I that's, think that's, that's a, a fact. That's a good point. You know, that's a what, good point. What happened? He wandered off looking for gluten-free cupcakes, and <laughs> three days later we found a body. You know, I don't think he could make it here. But... Uh, <laughs> They just, the attitude. They think they're going to wander into any city and go, I'm the mayor. You know, that's the attitude in New York. But um, I love being there, and I love Idaho, too. So it's... Do, do you think maybe the fact that, you know, you, you had so much time on your hand, and because, you know, being able to witness people from somewhere like Montana or Idaho yeah. going to a bigger city like New York, it's like so much to take in that you were just... You know, it adds to your routine. You use so much material walking around you every day. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're constantly... In you know, things are coming at you all, all day, every day. I mean, you know, you see a shattered man on the street and you go, I don't see that everywhere <laughs> else. It's, it's, uh, you see all aspects of humanity. You see somebody crying on the train and you go, that's just his life. You know? He hasn't seen many yeah, kids. Yeah, yeah, not yet. <laughs> well, Ryan, really excited to have you here in Thank our city. You. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate by. it. For more about Ryan and to purchase your tickets for this weekend's shows, head to wiseguyscomedy.com.